everybody. Uh, we'd like to thank all the participants today and our distinguished speakers. And uh, as every Italian uh, event, uh, we are like starting late. <laughs> <laughs> It's a kind of national character we like to uh, obey. It. Okay. Um, I will say just a few words about uh, the origin of the um, uh, research, Italian Research Day in the world, and maybe uh, a few things about uh, Italy and the United States bilateral cooperation in science and technology. Okay, we are here today to celebrate the Italian Research Day in the world. Uh, this initiative was launched in February 2018, uh, so we are now at the sixth edition of this um, celebration, and it was uh, specifically intended to uh, celebrate uh, the work of the Italian scientist who works abroad. In particular today, we uh, want to recognize the work of the Italian uh, scientists and researchers in the United States, and I have to say, in the uh, four states where the um, Council General of Italy is accredited. So, Texas, uh, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana. Uh, according to the estimates of the National Science Foundation uh, in the United States, there are more than 15,000 Italian uh, scientists and researchers in the US. Uh, and also the number of Italian professors in US colleges and universities grew by 6% in the last decade. Uh, around 45 uh, hundred uh, of this number are working in the four states I mentioned uh, before. Um, from Italy, uh, this is, is seen uh, like a really crucial resource, uh, a, a huge opportunity to strengthen the bilateral cooperation in science and technology between Italy and the US. That for us, for Italy, is a strategic, of course, a main interest. Uh, for their part, the embassy, the consulates, the committees, and the GGI, uh, for the non Italian, these last two <laughs> are um, association that represents the Italians in the US, and been working in order to facilitate contacts and association among the Italian scholars in the US. So among these associations that are active in the US, uh, I would like to mention ISNAF, the Italian Science and Scholar in North America Foundation, that really stands out as the largest one and, and the most widespread in the US, with more than 4,000 uh, members. ISNAF is really uh, doing a great job. It's, it's, it's facilitating networking among Italian scientists in the US, and of course between them and their colleagues in Italy, and it's also organizing an annual Lifetime Achievements Award that is like uh, recognizing the work of young Italian scientists in the US, and that's very important uh, uh, recognition. There are also other Italian association uh, of Italian researchers and scientists here in, in my area. Uh, one of those is the Texas Scientific Association, for example, and they also are dedicated uh, um, to promote networking among the Italian scientists. Um, in order to for further help uh, this work of networking among the Italian scientists uh, that are working abroad, the Fabrizina has created the Italia platform, which is like a virtual space where the Italian scientists can interact with uh, other uh, research centers in Italy or in other countries, with uh, big companies and also young companies and startups in the field 
uh, operation. So it's also another interesting uh, initiative to try to facilitate really uh, the coming together of all the Italian uh, scientists that are working uh, in the US and also in other countries. A um, few elements about the Italian-American uh, bilateral cooperation in science and technology. That is, I have to say, very solid and, 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 and very articulated. Uh, there are like over 1,000 bilateral agreements signed today, as today, between uh, academic uh, and uh, research centers, institutions from American parts with their counterparts in Italy. 1,000, uh, really a lot. There are very few countries where we have this kind of interaction, a uh, form of interaction our university and research centers and university uh, for all. Uh, the legal foundation of this bilateral uh, cooperation is actually set by uh, an agreement, the Agreement on Scientific and Ecological Cooperation, signed in Rome uh, in April 1988. So it's a long-standing relationship, start to be a long-standing relationship and was ratified in 1994 and is renewed every three years. That brings us as today, because last January, the 14th Joint Commission between Italy and US was convened in Rome. And in that occasion, the agreement, of course, the 1988, uh, 1988 agreement was renewed. But for the first time, it was uh, uh, issued a, poli a joint political declaration. So, at the technical side, uh, it was uh, it was like uh, completed with a political side declaration. That is really important because it really underlined the strong commitment of all parties to relaunch collaboration in a fundamental sector of bilateral bilateral relationship, especially in this particular uh, um, geopolitical frame. Of course, uh, the US uh, are for Italy uh, not only the, 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 the main partners in science and, and technological cooperation, but also the main ally. So uh, that's why also our relationship in, in science and technology is going to be strengthened, right, uh, to face the actual situation at the geopolitical, at the geopolitical level. Uh, the two delegations released this joint statement also to emphasize that science and technology cooperation must be inspired by democratic values, must be inspired by equity, fair competition, freedom of inquiry, respect for human rights, openness, research integrity, and transparency. Uh, the joint declaration was signed by uh, uh, Under Secretary Tripoli, that we can see here, and the uh, Chargé d'Affaires in Rome of the American Embassy, uh, Sean Crow. And of course, this declaration uh, include also uh, around 20 joint research projects that, that are going to be financed by Italy. Of course, they are joint projects for the period for the next three year periods. That is going to be 2023, 2025. Projects financed by the Fantasina, despite the limited amounts allocated. We are talking about 800,000 uh, euro. We hope that will allow our researchers to have an important exposure in the United States in sectors with high potential. Uh, we hope also increasing the opportunities for new publications, for further collaboration, and hopefully new, found, new funding. Uh, the representatives from the government uh, agencies and research uh, institutions in Italy and the United States, who met in Rome last January, also identified 
the subjects of highest uh, priority for the period 2023-2025 as well. Health and life sciences, quantum information science, health and climate science, advanced materials, nanomaterials and biophysics, high energy and nuclear physics, astrophysics, energy transition, and artificial intelligence. And these are actually the, 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 the strategic fields both recognized by Italy and the United States, where we hope to organize uh, new joint uh, projects for the, three, the next three year period. Uh, it's interesting, uh, I want to tell you also this side part, it's interesting that the American delegation, while uh, in Rome, had the opportunity to visit uh, the um, Agency for New Technology, Energy and Environment, in air in Italy, and the National Institute of Nuclear Physics in Frascati. So the American had the opportunity to come in contact with uh, really uh, one of the best experience of uh, in, in, in science in Italy, one of the best like uh, Institute of Research. And uh, the, the, really the, 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 the sector of high interest for the American were nuclear fusion research. The Americans were exposed to our 30-year commitment and experience in research about nuclear fusion. And so the American side understood that Italy could give like, an important contribution also for this incredible new project for the construction of the first nuclear fusion reactor that apparently important success in, in experiment in the United States and opened like, the way for this project that we hope is going to be realized in the future and also in, in Italian. At the National Institute of Nuclear Physics, the Americans were really intrigued by the CLOW the, 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 the experiment, the CLOW experiment. And during their visit, like, uh, as we decided that the state of art calorimeter, I don't know if it exists something like that, but I take this word for granted, calorimeter, that the scientists here can tell me then after what it, what it is. <laughs> Let me identify for reuse in the United States. So the, the, the calorimeter would be transported in the United States and reused in the Fermi labs for the new projects. This is another uh, recognition of Italian uh, technological and scientific expertise. The Americans were also interested in the, the European project called Eupraxia Plasma is an accelerator under construction uh, at the Frascati Center that actually it looks like to aim to revolutionize uh, acceleration technique, making possible uh, drastic reduction in the linear dimension of accelerators and allowing enormous energy savings and the construction of accelerators for magnetron. This is also another um, field of expertise that the Americans were very interested in and with their main interest to uh, cooperate with the Italian Center of Frascati to bring here this kind of technology. Finally, the meeting in Rome was actually uh, the occasion to value the exceptional contribution of the over 15,000 Italian researchers in the United States. And actually, this was, was witnessed by the presence uh, as official representative in the American delegation of 12 Italian scientists. And this is what's really something that it says a lot about the integration, about uh, the integration between uh, the, the scientific system in Italy and the scientific system in America. I um, would now, uh, uh, give time, a little bit of time to listen to the message of the Ministry for Foreign Affairs, 
italiani about the national day, the, the, the Italian research uh, national day. So if somebody can start the video, uh, I will be uh, thank you. Oggi è 15 aprile. Il 15 aprile 1452 nasceva Leonardo da Vinci. E guarda caso, oggi è il giorno in cui celebriamo la sesta edizione della giornata della ricerca italiana nel mondo. E lui è stato il primo ricercatore della storia del nostro paese. Il governo, come sapete, è fortemente attivato su questi temi. Fin dall'inizio, infatti, ho voluto avviare un'azione corale per promuovere il saper fare italiano nel mondo a 360 gradi. Condivido questo forte impegno con il ministro Anna Maria Bernini e insieme a tutti i colleghi della squadra di governo. Lavoriamo per portare nel mondo sempre più Italia. Scienza, ricerca e tecnologia sono al centro di questa missione. Sono orgoglioso degli oltre 30.000 scienziati italiani all'estero impegnati e apprezzati nei settori più all'avanguardia, fisica, biologia, ricerca spaziale, matematica e molti altri. Vi sto incontrando nel quadro delle mie missioni internazionali in cui ho potuto apprezzare il grande contributo che dà alla promozione dell'Italia all'estero. Siete davvero anche voi protagonisti della nostra diplomazia della crescita. Contribuite alla scoperta di soluzioni innovative a sfide globali come il contrasto ai cambiamenti climatici, la sfida digitale, l'esplorazione dello spazio. La diplomazia scientifica è un potente strumento di pace e sviluppo. Lo abbiamo voluto sottolineare quest'anno a Padova con il ministro Bernini per valorizzare l'importanza dei nostri 50 tipi scientifici e spaziali presso la rete diplomatico consolare. Il loro lavoro quotidiano attiva collaborazioni internazionali, attrae talenti in Italia e sostiene la crescita del Paese. Rafforzando il gioco di squadra potremo raggiungere obiettivi sempre più ambiziosi. Il successo dei ricercatori italiani del mondo è un successo di tutta l'Italia. Quindi vi ringrazio per il vostro impegno, la vostra passione, la vostra determinazione, il vostro lavoro al servizio dell'Italia. Contate su di me, contate sul governo.